One of the major drawbacks of Illustrator in terms of web design was that it couldn't produce artwork that would appear and perform as it was pixel based. But it all changed with the release of Illustrator CS5. Ever since then we have the ability to align the artwork to pixel grid and it is this ability that makes Illustrator viable for any kind of web design work. So let's take a look at what pixel grid and align into it actually is. Quick note here guys, if you're familiar with my style of teaching, uh, you already know that uh, I want to get straight to the point and make the learning process as easy as possible, so forgive me if I don't throw a lot of technical jargon at you. Okay, uh, first let's actually experience the presence of the pixel grid. If we go to the guides and grid preferences, and we can access them by going to the edit menu, choosing preferences, and then guides and grid, that's on PC, or on a Mac, we should go to Illustrator, preferences, and then guides and grid. Uh, so now we can see uh, an option at the bottom uh, that allows us to see the pixel grid when the zoom value exceeds 600%. Okay, so what's next? Well, next let's explore the align to pixel grid option a bit more. First of all, when you create a new document uh, intended for web, uh, the align to pixel grid option is turned on by default. So see that for yourself by going to the file menu, choose new, and from the profiles tab, choose web. If you can't see the align new objects to pixel grid option, click the advanced tab to see more options. Now we can be sure that uh, every new object we create will be aligned to Pixel Grid. But what is the whole purpose of this? Well, first of all, it prevents the objects from looking fuzzy in Pixel Preview mode. You can turn it on by going to the View menu and clicking Pixel Preview. Uh, digital screens render artwork uh, based on Pixel Grid, so placing an object off of the Pixel Grid will cause it to blur. Uh, this is when anti-aliasing comes into play, preventing the pixels from looking jagged. Secondly, objects with dimensions that are not integer values uh, would appear as fuzzy when put against the pixel grid, and align to pixel grid rounds up uh, or down those dimensions, uh, so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, it also takes care of the right placement of the objects on the pixel grid. Uh, when the placement values, uh, I mean uh, the x and the y coordinates, are not integer values, Illustrator rounds them up or down as well. But uh, what if you forgot to enable the align new objects to pixel grid upon creation of the new document? Or, uh, which is quite a common thing, uh, you have objects from other Illustrator documents that weren't aligned to pixel grid. Uh, well, there are two different ways of tackling this issue. You can make all the new objects uh, that you will create aligned to pixel grid. And to do that, uh, open the Transform panel by going to the Window menu, and then Transform. Alternatively, you could use the Shift plus F8 shortcut. And in the Panel menu, make sure the Align New Object to Pixel Grid is checked. And if you need to align existing objects to Pixel Grid, all you need to do is to select them, and in the, the Transform panel, Check Align to Pixel Grid option at the bottom of the panel. So I will select uh, the right square that is not aligned into Pixel Grid. And now I will check the Align to Pixel Grid. And as you can see, it snaps nicely to Pixel Grid and, in grid and it's not looking fuzzy anymore. Pixel precision is something you can achieve with Illustrator quite easily. Uh, the combination of Pixel Preview, which we'll talk about later, and aligning objects to pixel grid are essential to make Illustrator mimic a pixel design environment.